Prime Minister Naftali Bennett revealed that Mossad agents recently went on a mission to uncover the whereabouts of Ron Arad, an Israeli Air Force navigator. Bennett said that the operation involved male and female Mossad agents and aimed to uncover what happened to Arad, who is presumed dead. Arad bailed out of his plane during an operation in southern Lebanon in 1986 and was captured but was last heard from in 1988. Israel believes he was captured by the Shiite Amal movement before being handed over to Iran, and moved from Lebanon to Iran and then back again. Several signs of life were received in the first two years of his incarceration, including photos and letters and the last letter was sent on May 5, 1988. Arad has been assumed to have died many years ago, although intelligence reports have differed over the circumstances, timing and location of his death. In 2016, a report indicated that Arad was killed and buried in 1988 near Beirut. But a 2004 IDF commission determined Arad had died in the 1990s after being denied medical treatment. In 2006, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah said the group believed Arad was dead and his burial site unknown. In 2008, German negotiator Gerhard Conrad told Israel that Hezbollah said Arad died during a 1988 escape attempt. Israeli PM said that the return of captives is a Jewish value that has become one of the holiest values of the State of Israel. In 2018, Mossad agents recovered a wristwatch that had belonged to Israeli spy Eli Cohn, who was executed in Syria in 1965. Bennett vowed to continue to act to return all Israeli boys home, wherever they may be.